Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. And now, back to the man who thinks Wall Street could learn a thing or two about how business is done on Main Street. Well, if the good Lord don't like the way I conduct business, let him say something. Let him give me a sign. <laughs> Jim Blassingame, the small business advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you. Our good friend Gerald Salente is back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Gerald is a... An original founding member of our Brain Trust. In fact, this May, he will be celebrating his 15th anniversary with us. We're going to get him back, if not before, certainly that month, and celebrate his 15th anniversary. He was he was our first trend tracker to, to ever be on the show. He, I, I think he's a futurist, but he says he's a trends tracker. He's the author of the Trends Journal, which is a quarterly publication that's just getting bigger and better every every quarter. I've been telling you about that now for a long time. His, his book, Trends 2000, was a prophecy. And uh, he's here with some, some very interesting perspectives on peace. Gerald Salenti, welcome back to the show. Oh, wow, 15 years. <laughs> How about I that? I guess we were both kids. Huh? <laughs> I know, we were just children when we started, Gerald. But uh, it's, it's been my pleasure to, to, to tell my audience about you all these years and, and just continue to see how accurate your uh, forecasts are and uh, and and the trends that you track and tell us about and and it's been fascinating to watch so folks and I'll remind you that Gerald is uh, he's a truth teller so you buckle your seatbelts and uh, pull them tight Gerald what, your 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 main theme for your new journal is called Four Rules of Peace tell us about the, re- that. the reason for that Jim is we're seeing a parallel that that the history is repeating itself just differently. And you go back to the crash of 1929. It was followed by the Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, world war. The panic of 08. We're in a depression. Mm -hmm. And when you go to France, uh, excuse me, you go to Spain, you go to Greece, you go to Portugal, you go to Ireland, go to Italy, go to Slovenia, and go around a lot of the United States. There's a depression going on, and there are currency wars. And you don't have to listen to me. Listen to the the head of the Bank of England, Mervyn King. There's a currency war. Look what's going on over in Japan with their new Prime Minister Abe. Mm-hmm. They're lowering interest rates now and pumping money into the system. In Japan, there's a currency war, his words. You listen to Guido Montega of Brazil. They're lowering the currencies around the world, debasing them so exporters could sell more of their product to other countries right. there's a currency war well the u.s has been doing it for years exactly and we've been, and we've been complaining about china exactly there and china you know china the same thing there's a every there's a, there's a currency war now there's trade wars heating up and we're concerned that they're going to take us to world war and again you got the tr- you could receive the trends journal there was a story, my story in the, in the beginning of it. Remember, this is 60 pages, no mm-hmm. advertising. And I mentioned that what was going on in Mali, that there was now threats, and I took a quote from the Christian Science Monitor, of payback. Not, not a day later, the Algerian hostage crisis broke out, and the reason was it was payback for what France is doing in Mali. Mm-hmm. So what we're saying is that these world leaders have a wonderful way of getting us into war, and they only make things worse. And I know your boy was in Iraq when it yep. first broke out. Mm. And look what a disaster that turned out to be. Accomplished yep. nothing uh, other than killing about a million, an estimated million people, spending a trillion dollars. We're still there at, some, at many different levels. More than 4,000 of our own. More than 4,000 of our own troops. Same thing with Afghanistan, another loser. So Gerald Salenti's Four Rules of Peace, because these people... Oh, how about that little humanitarian mission? Remember that one in, in, in Libya? Mm-hmm. Oh, it turned out beautifully, didn't it? Yeah. yeah, they destabilized the entire northern Africa. So anyway, my Four Rules of Peace. If you pick a fight, you fight the fight. 
You want to call yourself commander-in-chief, prime minister, or chancellor, and you say that you lead the forces, go lead the forces. Mm -hmm. Saddle up. If it was good enough for Alexander the Great, William the Conqueror, and George Washington... It should be good enough for you. So you're saying you're saying number the rule number one in your your four rules of peace, and we'll get to the others in a little, in a little bit. Is if 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 the if the if if the world leader wants to wants to declare war or do something that that could cause a war, be prepared to to strap on a uniform and a weapon and get out there and fight. That's right. And even before that, yeah, I hear for instance, I hear Obama say. Or, or Netanyahu say Netanyahu said we have to I got we got to get rid of Ahmadinejad and I hear Assad uh, Obama saying Assad must go. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a world leader face off, <laughs> a takedown match. I like that. I'd, I'd like yeah, that would be that would be interesting. I think you know America's in this reality TV America. We probably would pay money for that. Hold on to that thought. Gerald Salenta and I will come back after these messages. Three more rules of peace. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.